The last question in the writing part, question number 20, is to simplify expressions involving radicals and rational exponents. They, these are very simple type of questions. Over here, you have to just, you know, solve the square roots. Or it might be cube root or different exponents. Now, you must remember, whenever we are plus or minus, why, why do we put this is? Because inside the square root, right? Now, imagine it's 4. So here, this is either 2 times 2, that is 4. Or it will be minus 2 times minus 2, that is also 4. So we do not know exactly how the square root is made up of either 2 and 2 or minus 2 and minus 2. So what we do is we write plus or minus 2. So plus or minus because both can be possible. Now here, pretty simple because you just put this in the calculator, the number part, you get the answer. But what about these powers? There are a few things you must remember. First of all, square root say x square root x is x to the power half. Now, if this is cube root, it is divided by 3. So, whatever is the radical over here, say phi, this can be written as x power 1 divided by phi. Now, what if it is something like this, x power 3? So, write this x power 3 as it is like this and divided by what? Phi. That's how we do it. Now, here, since we have 16 already. See, the left part is very simple. It will be 225. In calculator, you get the answer. But about this, a power 16 divided by what? It's 2. b, 36 divided by 2. So the answer is uh, square root of 225 is 15, I believe. And over here, it's a power 8 and b power 18. So this is your answer. As simple as that. Over here, square root of 121 is 11. Oh, now, don't forget the plus or minus. Plus or minus 11. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. Y divided by uh, 16 divided by 2 is 8. We got this over here. Same way you can solve it. Now, since it's writing, don't directly jump to the answer. See, over here, what they have done is, basically, you know the answer you can directly write. See, looking at it, plus or minus 7x power 2. Right? What you need to do is the same thing, write it up over here, 7x power 2, the whole square. So basically the square root and square cancels and then you get this. So the easier way is, let's do this one. Square root of 400 is 20. x 32 by 2 is 16. And y 20. That is the final answer and it's minus. So write minus. They have clearly mentioned only the negative answer is what's required. Now here... Let's write minus itself, but the same answer within the bracket and outside the bracket, you should put space. So these are the steps. Now, one more thing, if at all you have odd powers, if you're not having any odd powers, okay, over here there is odd power. See, so this is the answer over here, the steps. Now, always remember, inside the square root, you cannot have negative numbers, right? Now, what is this? It's imaginary. Why? Because the square root means you have a number. See, now it's 4, right? If it's 4, this number is made up of two numbers, 2 and 2, or minus 2 and minus 2, such that they are multiplied to each other and you get the answer. So if it is negative, any negative value, when you multiply with the negative value with itself, it will be positive, right? So there is no number which you can multiply 1 or 1 or minus 1 or minus 1, you won't get a negative answer. So that's that's why this is a very unique thing. If you have square root negative 1, that means it's imaginary. It cannot be a real number. Now, why did I say that? Because over here it's single power, then this can be negative, right? Whereas if it's always a even power, see all these even powers means, even if you have minus, Say x is minus. When you square it up, it will be minus 2 times minus 2. It will be positive 4. So every time when it's even, minus, 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 it becomes positive only. But this one, odd, if you have minus, it's minus. So this would be a problem. So that's why you write this magnitude symbol. Just stating that only the positive value was considered. So only when there is odd numbers, just write these two symbol, magnitude symbol, modulus. Now, here we have root radical of 4. See? Again, it's simple. 
So the, the answer directly would be, you know, splitting out uh, divided by 4 and this is radical 4. But now if you're doing in steps, this is a better step. What I would do is 4, 16 and then I would split it out to x minus 3, the whole power 12. And now then, this can be obtained from the calculator directly, but if you know it is 2, I believe 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So the answer is 2 here. And this one, what you have to do is x minus 3, the whole power 12, divided by 4, right? So it is 2 into x minus 3, whole power 3. 12 divided by 4 is 3, okay? That's the answer. But here, since it's odd, it's very, very important. Say the power is odd. Now, if you have minus 2, the whole power 3, what happens is minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2, right? This becomes positive 4, but this another odd uh, sign is there. It becomes minus 8. So minus remains. But if it was positive, it will be all positive. But if it was even number, even power, and if it was minus, then again you multiply it with minus, so it becomes positive ultimately. So always remember when the powers are even, even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. It's always positive, whereas odd numbers like 1, 3, 5 and so on, it will always remain negative. So that's how we get this. So over here, you just write modulus. So what you can do is x minus 3 modulus the whole power 3. So this is basically the answer. Just write modulus. That's it. Um, you can write modulus outside, okay, in the sense over here that whatever the value is there, whatever this answer, we just take the positive value of it. So that's how we can write it. Now here, because this only term could be negative, right? You must have the absolute value. That means it'll be a non-negative uh, answer. Same way over here, you can directly jump to the answer. It's divide 16 divided by 8 is 2. And y divided by 8 divided by 8 is 1. But since this is odd power, you put the modulus symbol, that's it. But, you know, for writing, just do these steps. These are very simple to write. Very, very easy problems. Same thing goes over here as well. Nothing much over here. 18 divided by 6 is 3. But since it's odd, you write these two lines. Over here, radical 4 of 81 is 3. Because 3 to the power 4 is 81. You can use the calculator to do it. And then x minus 1, it's odd. So you write these two lines. Now, if you're thinking how to use the symbols in the calculator, you can see over here, this is the square root symbol. But what if you want to put a radical over there? It is by pressing shift and you can see this x power, right? But if you press shift and this, it comes as radical. So you can put anything. And then this is the radical symbol, radical. And uh, what do you want over here? You can put any number two. This is the answer. So that's how we solve it. You can try any problem. And this is again same, 12 divided by 4, how much is it? 3. But it's odd, so write these two lines. Now again, 12 divided by 3, it's 4. You do not need to write the modulus symbol over here. The absolute value is not necessary. Why? Because it's an even power. Whenever there is odd power, put these two straight lines. I wish you all the best, guys. Please do practice more problems and write and study. Don't just watch it. When you're watching the video, please try practice writing. Before I finish off, I just want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel, who have liked my videos, who watched my videos. It really means a lot. I really am amazed by the support and love I receive from all the students. Thank you so much. I will try my best to do all the explanation videos as soon as possible. Please do stay tuned.